Hi Aquarius, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be for Halloween, for the full moon on October 31st, and this will take us through the next new moon on November 14th, so you can watch for these energies to play out for about the next two weeks or so. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may not resonate for everyone. If they do, I thank you so much in advance for all your support with those likes, shares, and subscribes. Uh, you guys mean so much to me. Thanks for all your support. We will be doing a Celtic cross spread today, which is going to take a look at your current situation, your near future. We'll get you some advice, and we'll take a look at the eventual outcome based on your current set of circumstances. So. Keep in mind, future energies are changeable. We will close you out with some oracle cards at the end of the reading. So let's dig in. In your current situation, we have the Five of Pentacles. Let's see what your challenge is. The Hierophant. Okay. Someone has left an institution. A job. A church. A country. Someone feels... Okay, someone... I think this is you. You're feeling um, turned away. But no, I mean, Five of Pentacles is usually the organization has ousted you. But I don't, I feel like that's the opposite in this case. I feel like you're the one turning your back on the organization. Like, you've had enough. You're going to go it alone. You don't, you don't need to be part of this thing anymore. You're recognizing that it's been holding you back because it's the obstacle. It's the obstacle that you're meant to overcome right now. But it's looking like you're leaving it behind. Or you're wanting to. Your current focus is the Three of Pentacles and the world. Yeah, you're wanting to bring things to a sense of completion. And because you, you recognize what you have to offer here, you know the value of what you're bringing to the table. And you want to, you, I think this is in a very literal sense, you want to share it with the world. But you're not able to do so for whatever reason from within the, the bounds of this institution that you're walking away from. In your recent past, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So you you released a burden that was um, it had you really confused. It, it feels like the dogma of this organization really like you were very indoctrinated in this, and. That's what made you wake up and realize that you needed to lighten the load, that this had become this heavy burden that you were carrying, and that it was keeping you from seeing the, 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 tr the real truth. That your beliefs, that your beliefs that you had been indoctrinated with by this organization were keeping you from seeing the real truth. The energy of the environment around you is the Four of Presence, the Four of Pentacles. That's stability. That is not biting off more than you can chew. But it's also saying you've got everything you need. You don't, you don't, you can hold steady with what you've got. And you're, it's not, 
the energy of the environment is not conducive to you taking on more at this point. Nor is it conducive to you um, releasing more than you are already have. It's kind of like you, you've you've whittled things down to the manageable level, and that's the level that you're you're meant to sustain you through this next period. It's also, I feel like there's an element of being prepared, of accumulating resources in order to prepare for hard times. In your near future, we have the Ace of Wands. This is inspiration. This is a new sense of, of hope. Clear, a clear vision of hopefulness, something that can sustain you. And I, I love the symmetry of this because you've just released the burden with the ten of the ten of candles in reverse. And coming out the other side of this in the near future, you have the ace of candles. It's the brand new beginning. That's that's really poetic. In your advice. We have the death card. So this is a, like a release, a purge. This is saying, let this situation transform you. You're going to be a whole different person. But you're going to have to go through this like dark night of the soul. You're going to have to go through this. Because I have a feeling that... that what you are extricating yourself from right now was very interwoven, very intertwined with your ideology, with who you have been for a long time. And so it's going to be a process of unraveling who, you're, who you are now and who you're going to be in the future from who you've been. What parts of that belief system like I'll try to share this this analogy with you that I like to use a lot it's it can be a little long-winded let me see if I can make it a little more succinct so I see sometimes our um, our lives as a tapestry and so each thread gets woven in and one thing can be you know age four I, I had this experience and before I went to kindergarten and that really was a formative experience on which all the other threads were were woven around. So when you do something like leave a, an organization that it was really part of your identity, then in order to rebuild yourself on the other end of that, it's a painstaking process if you want to do it right, because you need to identify each thread that is no longer genuine to who you are. And tease it out from the tapestry and then identify like how you what you want to replace it with like I used to a part of my ethics used to be based on x y and z and then that no longer resonates with me so how wh what are my ethics now you know it's it can be a very um very deep sometimes difficult process so um, I hope that this reading is, a is able to bring you some, some help. It, it seems like a pretty, pretty um, you know, heavy thing that you're going through right now. Your surprise energy, what's going to take you by surprise? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Presents in this deck. Oh, this is the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. Isn't that the artwork amazing? I love this deck. What's going to take you by surprise is how much you can rely on yourself how how um how in control 
you're able to like you're able to maintain control in a very topsy-turvy situation. The Queen of Pentacles is very stable, is very grounded. And even when she's in the reverse, she still has her wits about her. She's still very practical. And she is in control in an environment of chaos. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. We have the two of needles, two of swords in reverse. You're hoping that you won't need to make a decision. And if you do, you're hoping that you'll, you'll be able to make the right decision, but you're worried that you'll be hesitant to decide or you won't, you won't pull the trigger when you need to or that you won't know what to do. I have a feeling that's more it. You have the feeling that like your, your inner guidance is, is going to be, you know, like how will, how will I know how to make the right decision now? Let's take a look at the eventual outcome. We have the High Priestess in reverse. You're going to be really, really in touch spiritually. You're going to have a whole new approach to spirituality. For some of you, this is this is leaving a religion and um, finding your own connection to your higher power. And at the at the end of this this culmination of this particular situation, you will. You'll be, you'll be really, really in tune, even like more so than you have been. It'll become so deeply personal, your connection to source. Let's take a look at... That's way too many, way too many. I'm going to take the one that fell out of my hands. Um, your current situation with the five of pentacles, we have judgment in reverse. So this is, yeah, this is a walking away by, um, it, it has a spiritual touch to it with the angel here. It's like not heeding the call, but it's also deciding against something. Let's take a look at the Hierophant. Hierophant is clarified. Did we already have this come out? No. Hierophant is clarified by the Five of Cups. So the establishment was keeping you focused on negative emotions. It was emphasizing how bad you should feel. Let's see your focus. Again, all these cards want to come out, but two of them are the same as before. I'm going to take, I'll take them all. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse, Two of Cups, and the King of Wands. You're inspired here. You... You've got clarity. You're armed with the sword of truth here. You have some a, a new motivation. You have a new inspiration. It's a little timid. It's a little weak. It's not burning bright for the world to see just yet. But don't you worry because in your near future, remember, we have that Ace of Wands in the upright. So... It, the potential for it is already, like, you're looking for it. It's in your focus. It's in your sights. And then you've got the Two of Cups, which tells me that, that love is a part of this. Like, you want... 
you just want to operate from a place of love. You have positivity in your heart. You, ha you want to be able to share it with someone. And we have the King of Wands. You may be focused on, um, like, the, if this is an outside energy, then you're focused on someone who's very passionate about you. If this is you, then you're really wanting to find your own inspiration. You want to be in control of your own spirituality or your own inspiration if this is not religion related for you. In your recent past, we have nostalgia. Yeah, I, this is something from your childhood, something that you, excuse me, either um, became a part of while you were very young or perhaps born into. You have a lot of happy memories relating to this, this group from childhood, but it was, you're realizing now that all along you were, you were being indoctrinated. So it's, it's very much like destabilizing and, and you're just, you've already, you've already recognized that and, and released the burden or was the beginning stages of releasing the burden and the energy of the environment here we have it the five of pentacles again in the reverse so you're just wanting to uh, put it behind you and hold on to the stability that you've got i mean part of this is you're you know that that the organization it, it can be destabilizing to pull the rug out from under yourself and completely change your life so it's like there's stability in in returning there. However, I, I don't, I'm not seeing that anything else indicating that as a possibility for you. Let's see the Ace of Candles. We have the Lovers in Reverse. You want, you, you, this new inspiration, this new motivation is going to lead you in a direction that before you didn't think was possible for you. It's not quite clear to you yet, and it may not make sense right away, but eventually you're going to start seeing new opportunities that you wouldn't have been exposed to in the past had you not taken this new route and followed your own personal inspiration. Specifically with the relationships that it's going to make possible for you. Let's take a look at this death transformation advice. It's like, let the transformation wash over you because you're an empress. You have so much potential to come out like this is, this is beyond Phoenix energy. This is like rising from the ashes of your old self as the motherfucking empress that you always were but you need to like release those the old you. you you need to uncover it's like chiseling away at a, a you know a block of marble the empress is powerful confident um, other people listen to her. Other people see her as very attractive. She exudes, um, yeah, power, control, confidence, sexuality. Um, she's just very comfortable in her own skin. And that's very alluring to everyone. She just has this magnetic energy. That's the potential that exists within you that's wanting to come out after this, this purging of 
what you need to release the of you know the the old you is still is still part of you i mean that sort of a transformation doesn't happen overnight but that's your advice is like know your potential be willing to go through this transformation because this is who you are this is who's going to come out on the other side of that transformation in your surprise energy this queen of presence in reverse we have clarifying the page of swords this is a messenger so this has me rethinking the the meaning of why the queen is here to begin with If it's if it is in line with that original interpretation, then this could be the reason why you're getting that boost of confidence in terms of your your potential, like having it all under control, even during the upheaval could come through some new information that comes um, from an outside source. There's going to be some good news that comes in one way or the other, one way or the other. I also feel, though, that it has to do with self-care. That it has to do with, like, enabling you to take better care of yourself and focus on yourself. Maybe this could be something like someone surprising you with a spa day. Something, it feels something like that. Some unexpected message that's like about you taking care of yourself or treating yourself. Like, let me take you out and let's shop for a new outfit or let me you know what i'm going to help you with your bills this month so it's something like some surprise that someone's going to in a taking care of you wrong deck in a taking care of you spirit let's take a look at your hopes and fears with this decision the two of swords in reverse we have the knight of pentacles so I mean, you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to be slow and steady and deliberate. At the same time, you're, you're, you, there's that uncertainty of how will, what will I base my decisions on? And then at the end of this road, That's the real burden being released. Stage one of releasing the burden is behind you. The decision to release the burden. And in some regards, you've already made the decision, right? You've already, you've already released the burden. But it's when you, when you reach this point of feeling connected to your higher self in a, in a new, newly profound way, that's when you actually complete this cycle. Th that is the real ending to this effort. It's not two separate efforts. It's like your life before and the transformation and then what comes after is all one beautiful connected story. You couldn't have had one without the other. It was written this way on purpose. All right, let's move on to your clarifiers. Aquarius, we have some affirmators. We're gonna get you an affirmation or three, apparently. Okay, one is a bonus card, okay. We'll do self-love first. I openly embrace a feeling of self-love, the PG kind. 
I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. I show myself love any way that I can, and when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that self? And they're wearing these t-shirts. You're the best. No, you're the best. It's like you looking at the in the mirror at yourself with that supportive attitude. And I love that because the, the that surprise energy of like self-care, I feel like you're going to be nudged in this direction. Okay, and your next affirmator is vitality. I am healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has its own sword and shield. I dare you to try and penetrate my cellular army. Didn't think so, chump. This is driving home the importance of self-care in, in the physical aspect. I mean, especially in today's day and age, right? We need to be healthy and have, maintain a, a, a strong um, immune system. Um, but beyond that, I mean, when, when you're healthy, then your vehicle is going to be able to support everything else that you want to do. This, this mortal vehicle that we're all um, blessed with. Okay, last but not least, your bonus card is forgiveness. Congratulations, you're being given one of the more, one of the most powerful superpowers there is, forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive um, forgiver. The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself, too. Have fun wielding your new power, but remember, great forgiveness, with great forgiveness, comes great inner peace. All right, next we'll pull you a Power of Surrender Oracle card. This is what you can release in order to better work with the energies. We have Surrender Obsessive Thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma, dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. Next, we have the Fear Nothing Oracle deck. This is what, how can we banish fear from the situation? I have, think Aquarians are gonna have no trouble with this. Buck convention, <laughs> right? We, we, that's like our middle name, Buck convention. Like, tell me something I don't know. But I mean, this is literally like everything conventional you're walking away from. Spirit's supporting you. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to close you out with a Making Magic incantation to support you on Halloween and beyond. We have Goddess, Healing Feminine Energy. Okay, you guys, I hope this helped. I wish you all the best for this situation. I will be seeing you again with a new round of messages for the new moon on November 14th. So look for videos to come out a day or two before then. And in the meantime, if you feel like a personal reading could help, I am available for some time slots in November and December. If you're interested, we can go into a lot more detail with asking specific questions about your situation. Um, and I do that over a video chat so you can see all the cards similarly to how you do here. My contact information is in the description box below if you're interested in finding out more about that. I also have some merchandise available, some t-shirts with some high vibratory um, designs that I've created. I'd love your feedback on those. If you're interested in getting some new gear or Christmas presents, um, please check those out. All right, um, and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks, and until then, take care and have a happy Halloween. Bye.